Be a child of God. When the weight seems unbearable, when the weight seems so long already, and it looks like you cannot wait anymore, God is saying to you, wait. God is saying to you, be still and know that I am God. He says, wait patiently, be still in the presence of God and wait patiently for him to act. Dear child of God, the word of God in Psalms 37 verse 7 says, Be still and know that I am God. Know that I will do it. Have that confidence within yourself that I will bring my word to pass. Dear child of God, it is true that there are sometimes you have waited for some things to happen, but it didn't happen. You waited for some things to show up. They didn't show up. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope in God, but wait on Him. Wait on him because he said in Romans 10 verse 11 that those who wait on me will not be put to shame. Dear child of God, sometimes the wait seems unbearable and that is the reason you made the mistakes that you made. You see, Abraham made mistakes because the wait seemed unbearable. He made a mistake because he couldn't wait any longer. He made a blunder because he couldn't wait any longer. God had given him a promise. You see, don't try to work it out, dear child of God. If God has said, I will do it, then he will do it. And if God will show you the way out, if God will tell you how to go about it, then let him be the one giving you the clear direction to go about it. But if he's not giving you any clear direction, and he says, wait on me, then wait. Sometimes it may be unbearable. But you see, I've come to realize that when God makes you to wait longer, what is bringing your way will be far greater than everything else anybody else around you may have received. They say the patient dog eats the fattest bone. Dear child of God, I want you to know that with God, what is bringing to us many times is beyond our imagination, especially when is allowing us to wait. Sometimes you may not understand why he's saying to you, wait, but he knows why. It is not every time God would explain everything to you. Dear child of God, there are sometimes we want God to explain every single thing in detail to us. We want God to tell us why we are waiting, but sometimes he may not even tell you anything. All he will say is wait, be still, and see me do it. Wait and watch me act. Wait and see the way I will show up in a great way. Sometimes the wait may be unbearable. Sometimes you may have lost faith. You may have lost hope in God because you cannot wait anymore. But you have forgotten that that time you are waiting, that time you are going through trials, that time you are going through those testings is working out patience in you. You see, God loves to see confidence and trust in the lives of his children. And when he sees that, you can trust him despite the situations, despite the odds. Dear child of God, I want you to know that what you will get will be so amazing. You see, when Job realized that what he needed was to wait, when Job realized that all he needed to do, dear child of God, was to wait for his change to come, was to wait for his appointed time to come, was to wait for his breakthrough to come, dear child of God. What came was beyond his imagination. See, the word of God in Job 14 verse 14 says, If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of mine appointed time, he says, I would wait for my change to come. He says, all the days of my heart service i would wait he said all the days of my hard service yes he knew he was going through some hard times he knew he had given god his best he knew he had served god the most that he could such that god was even proud of him god would go to boast about him to the devil saying have you considered my servant job is a man that has showed evil i mean such level of confidence I mean, such level of boasting from God. God was prideful, seeing the kind of man that Job is. 
but he got to a point in time in his life that he needed to wait. Yes, sometimes you don't know the reason why you have to wait, but God knows what he wants to do. That is why he's saying to you, my child, wait. Wait for me to do it. Wait for me to bring what is really yours. Don't try to cut corners. You see, a job cost God and died. That would have been the end of everything. But he waited on God. He said, I would wait for my change to come. He said he knew that his Redeemer was alive. Dear child of God, at the end of the day, what came to Job was beyond imagination. What came to Job caused his mouth to be filled with praises and thanksgiving. He said he would wait for his change to come. All the days of his hard service, dear child of God, have you been serving God so hard? Have you served God night and day? But it seems like nothing to show for it. God is saying to you, wait patiently. There is something I am doing. Sometimes the wait may be too long. But he's saying, I know what I'm doing. I know the journeys I'm taking you through. And I will sustain you. Yes, he said already, I cannot give you more than you can bear. So I know you can sustain. Don't allow the things that they are saying to you to get you down. Yes, don't allow the things that they are saying to you to make you become tired. Don't allow the things they are saying to you make you become weary. Some people have said, where is your God? Where is the God that you have been serving? Where is the God that you have professed to serve all the days of your life? Where is the God you have given your service to? Didn't he say he's going to reward you? Didn't he say he's going to say to you? Didn't he say he's going to give you your own family? Didn't he say he's going to give you your own home? What are the things he said he's going to do, dear child of God? Sometimes they will push you and push you to make errors and make mistakes. They will push you to make blunders. Please don't allow them. That was what the wife of Job was doing when she said, cause God and die. Because she felt the wait was already becoming too long and there was nothing, there was no reason for you to be holding on to your integrity. She was saying, please, you can cause God and die. He knows you have served him, but he has not given you the reciprocal blessing for your service. But you see, Job would say, I would wait. I would wait for my Redeemer to come. I know he is alive. I know he would show up. I know, yes, the weight has become unbearable. He was in pain. He was crying. In fact, he began to ask, where are you, God? He searched for God. He said he could not sense him. He could not feel him. He could not see him. But he knew he needed to wait. What do you do when you cannot feel God? When you cannot sense him? When you cannot even get any signal from him anymore? What do you do? Would you still wait? Would you still say, Lord, I trust you? Would you still say, God, I have my confidence in you. I have my faith in you. And I know that you will not disappoint. Job waited on God and he didn't regret it at the end of the day. You see, God knows about your labors of love. He knows the works of your faith. He knows about the patience that you have had. And he's saying to you, I will come, I will show up for you. I will show up in a great way and I will not fail. I will show up and I will make your life beautiful again. He waited on God and his rewarder, the one who said he's coming quickly, came when the time was right. He will do it when the time is right. Dear child of God, he will make it happen when the time is right. Please hold on to God. Don't let go of God. Whatever the situation is, dear child of God, please do not let go of God. Sometimes you may want to quit. Sometimes you have become weary and tired. Sometimes you are about to give up. But I want you to know today that if you do not give up, if you do not give up, you would have reasons to rejoice at the end of the day in the mighty name of Jesus. Please keep up our life. Stay strong. Stand your ground. Even when the weight becomes unbearable, dear child of God, wait on God. And I want to assure you, the things he will do will cause your mouth to be filled with praises in the mighty name of Jesus. What he will do will cause you to be amazed. What he will do will cause you to shout for joy. What he will do, dear child of God, will cause you to live for joy. You see, Job had reasons to celebrate 
Job had reasons to rejoice at the end of the day, knowing that his wonderful father, his redeemer, the one he had trusted, eventually did what he said he would do. God will do what he said he would do in your life. Everything he has showed you, the reasons he's making you wait, he would allow them, he will cause them to come, he will bring them to your life, and you will not be denied all the things that you deserve in the mighty name of Jesus. Please stand your ground, have faith in God, and he will not put you to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. He said those who believe in him will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. You will not be put to shame. And you will rejoice at the end of the day, knowing that Jehovah showed up in your life. My God. He said because they had faith in him, God will be their help. He says God will keep them safe. He says God will take them out of the hands of the evil doers. He said God will be their savior. Your child of God, God will save you today because you have faith in him, because you have held on to the profession of your faith, because you have told him, Father, I believe in you. I have confidence in you. I know you will not leave me all by myself. I know you will not allow me to be destroyed. Dear child of God, have faith in God today, for God will be your help. God will save you. God will deliver you from the hands of the evil doers and will be your savior. He said, because you have faith in him, he will do all of these things. He will come to your rescue. Dear child of God, remember he said to you that if you would have faith in him, he will not put you to shame. Dear child of God, please keep having faith in him because those troubles you will see no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep having faith in him because he's coming to help you. Keep having faith in him, dear child of God, because he will save you from the hands of evil doers. Keep having faith in him. He said he is your savior and he will come to your rescue. God will make sure you are rescued. God will make sure you are delivered. God will make sure you are set free from everything that the enemies are doing. Dear child of God, you are an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror. And God is saying to you today, you shall have your breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus. He said because they had faith in him, because they believed in him, God saved them from the oppressors. God saved them from the oppression of the enemy. God saved them from the evil doers. God will save you in the mighty name of Jesus. He would ensure you are delivered. He said he delivered them. He helped them. He delivered them from the hands of the wicked. Dear child of God, those who had ill-treated you, those who had brought pain your way, dear child of God, those who had brought affliction your way because you trust in God, because you have faith in God, he will deliver you and he will put them to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. He will deliver you and take you to the place of safety in the mighty name of Jesus. He will strengthen you. Yes, he said he would uphold you in the time of trouble. All you need is to keep having faith in him. He says, but the Lord is the savior of the upright. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Psalms 37 verse 39. Dear child of God, in the time of trouble, have faith in God, for God is your strength. Have faith in God, for he will deliver you. Have faith in God, for he will not allow you to see destruction. He will not allow the enemies to exact their evils upon you. Dear child of God, he says, he will cut them down altogether. He says, the end of evil doers will be their destruction. Yes, because of their wrongdoing, because they refuse to stop said they will see destruction keep having faith keep trusting him to fight your battles and i want to assure you he will fight your battles and he will give you victories in the mighty name of jesus all he wants to see from you is trust his faith and confidence in him dear child of god those things that are befalling you today they will be gone if you will keep having faith if you will keep having confidence if you will keep having trust in your god you see, God cannot be defeated. And this is one thing I want you to know. God is the God that rises up in victory and no one can ever bring him down. Dear child of God, he says when he arrives, his enemies shall all scatter. Today, I want you to know that if you keep having faith in God, nothing will be able to destroy you. Dear child of God, if you keep having faith in God, that he is your protector, that he is your deliverer, that he is the one that can rescue you in the face of opposition. I want to assure you, this is how he will keep giving you victories in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, one secret of David was that he had faith 
in God. When he stood before Goliath, he knew the one back in him. And then he said he came by the power of that one. And so it was. He had the victory at the end of the day. Dear child of God, naturally speaking, there was no way David would have been able to defeat Goliath. But because he went with the might of God, because he went having faith in God, God gave him victory. He brought Goliath down, dear child of God. He subdued the kingdom. Today, I want you to know that it doesn't matter how big that challenge is. It doesn't matter how big that situation is. It looked like Goliath before you. But if you would have faith in God, if you believe in God, I want to assure you, you would have that victory in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see the help of the Almighty One. You will see Him deliver you from trouble. You will see Him be your Savior as He had promised. And you will see Him bring every of those situations to an end. Dear child of God, He said, those evildoers, they shall be destroyed because you have faith in Him. Today, those things that have stood on your path, You'll be able to destroy them. You would be able to bring them down if you keep having faith and belief. He said, Those who believe, those who have faith, he says they will speak to this mountain and say to the mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea. And then he says, It shall be so. Dear child of God, believe it. And whatever situation it is, keep having faith, keep believing in God. And the same way God brought victories to the people of old, He will bring you victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. You see, they went from town to town and they had victories. They subdued kingdoms because they had faith, because they had belief, because they had confidence in God. Believe, dear child of God, that that situation will come to an end. And I want to assure you, it will come to an end most definitely in the mighty name of Jesus. Believe that you will see a change. And I want to assure you, most definitely, you will see a change. Believe that God will rescue you. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, God would rescue you, yes, because he had determined, because he had determined that for those who have faith, those who have confidence in him, he said they will not be disgraced. He said they will not be disappointed. This is what he said. He will not bring you to the place of shame. He will not bring you to the place of disappointment because he knows that you have faith in him. He knows that you have spoken to people about him saying, yes, my God will come to rescue me. My God will come to fight for me. My God will come to save me. Dear child of God, I want to assure you that as you have faith in God, as you have confidence in God, as you have held on to your integrity, yes, God will make sure you are not disappointed. God will make sure you are not put to shame. God will make sure you do not see ruin and destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus, you would order your step carefully to the place of your breakthrough and victories. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And those who wanted you destroy their child of God, they will come to destruction in the name of Jesus. He says, but the wrongdoers will come to destruction and the haters of the Lord will be like the fat of lambs. He says, they will be burnt up. He says, they will go up in smoke and never again would they be seen. He says, have faith. And those things that wanted to destroy you, he says, they will be destroyed. He says, have faith. Those things that are standing on your path, he says you will see them no more. They will be burnt up and they will be gone away from you. Have faith in God that he is your savior. Have faith in God that he is your deliverer. Have faith in God that he will bring an end to all the situations that you have been faced with. And so you will testify that God had brought an end to the situation. That God had brought my redemption. That God had brought me victory. That God has saved me. So you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, and the Lord will be help. God will be your help. It says, and God will be the help of those that have faith. It says, God will be their help. It says, God will be their help. God will be your help in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, God will keep them safe. He will keep safe those who have faith. God will keep you safe in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, he will take them out of the hands of evil doers. Those who have faith, he says, he will take them out of the hands of evil doers. He says, he will be their savior because they have faith. Because they have faith, he says, he will be their savior. Because you have faith, God will save you. He will rescue you and he will give you reasons to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I call it done because it is settled and you shall have your testimonies of victories in the mighty name of Jesus. 
you shall not be halted. Dear child of God, you shall not be stopped. And you shall experience the breakthrough that God has destined for you to experience in the mighty name of Jesus. You'll be unstoppable in Jesus' mighty name. And your joy shall be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I call it down because nothing will stop you from testifying. Because you have faith in God, nothing would ever stop you from testifying of the Lord's goodness, dear child of God, in the land of the living, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. Shalom.